Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby, and today we continue on in Chapter 7 of St. John's Gospel, Chapter 7, verses 37 through 52. Now, I want to try and keep it short today. Today was one of my chemo um, treatments, and I'm a little tired. So, let's start right away with our prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. O oh Lord, we ask that you enlighten our hearts and our minds, that we may learn and understand your teachings and apply them to our lives. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Alrighty, as I said, chapter 7, and we'll start at verse 37. On the last day of the feast, the great day, remember this was the feast of the tabernacles, or the feast of the booths. Jesus stood up and cried out, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Now this he said about the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were to receive. For as yet the Spirit had not been given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. Now, if this sounds a little familiar, we talked about these verses, these verses, oh, a, a week, two weeks ago, when we were studying the uh, Samaritan woman at the well. Jesus said to her, everyone who drinks of this water, he's speaking about the water of the, from the well of Jacob, will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks of the water that I will give him will never be thirsty again. The water that I will give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. He's speaking of the Holy Spirit. This was from chapter 4, verses uh, 13 and 14. And he's speaking to the woman at the well, the Samaritan woman. Samaritan woman, excuse me. Alrighty, going on. When they heard these words, some of the people said, this is really the prophet. And remember, the prophet, as told to us by Moses, would come and lead the people in place of Moses. And that was in Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 15. And the Jewish people are still waiting for the prophet to come and lead them. And they believed the prophet, like the Messiah, would be a political figure that would establish an eternal kingdom in, Jeru in Israel. So, when they heard these words, some of the people said, this is really the prophet. Others said, this is the Christ. But some said, is the Christ to come from Galilee? Has not scripture said that the Christ comes from the offspring of David and comes from Bethlehem, the village where David was? And there completely correct. Now yesterday the people were believed, we learned, that the Messiah would come from out of nowhere. No one knew where he was coming, but then we went back and looked at the scriptures ourselves and found out that yes, he is going to come from Bethlehem. And where was Christ born? In Bethlehem, the town of David. So there was a division among the people over him. And some of them wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. The officers then came to the chief priests and Pharisees who said to them, Why did you not bring him? And the officers said, No one ever spoke like this man. The Pharisees answered them, Have you also been deceived? Have any of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd that does not know the law is accursed. That's a pretty sad commentary on the people that you're supposed to be teaching. They haven't learned anything? Nicodemus. Do you remember Nicodemus from chapter 3 of St. John's Gospel? 
Well, this is the second time we run into him. We'll run into him again. Nicodemus, who had gone to him before, that's chapter 3, and who was one of them, one of the Sanhedrin, said to them, Does our law judge a man without first giving him a hearing and learning what he does? And they replied, Are you from Galilee too? They're accusing him. They don't want to hear any defense of Jesus. None. The case is closed. The case is completely closed. They replied, Are you from Galilee too? Search and see that no prophet, they're telling Nicodemus, search and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. And they don't know their scriptures. Jonah was from Galilee. And there was a couple of other prophets who were probably from Galilee. Galilee. But definitely Jonah was from Galilee. So they don't know their, their own scriptures or they're perverting them for their own use. I don't know which. Well, tomorrow we're going to explore the story of the woman caught in adultery. So that should be interesting and it should be noted that in St. John's Gospel that's the only place where it, it, this story arises. So until tomorrow when we visit Jesus again in Jerusalem, may God bless us all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord.